Hey, what's up, guys? This is Miguel from Spot Home Madrid, and I'm at this really nice two share bedroom apartment located in Calle Villavesa. Uh, this is in the neighborhood of Villaverde Alto. Um, the closest Renfe station is at about maybe eight, nine minutes walking, and then from there it's actually line five, I think it is, and that one goes to Sol in 10, 15 minutes. All right, so you can be in the main center from here in 25 minutes stops, which is a great thing. And well, like I said, it's in Villa Verde Alto, which is a typical neighborhood of Madrid, so it's very convenient. You have many supermarkets, many uh, well bars, restaurants, uh, even some nice uh, parks and green areas. So it's also uh, nice to be in here, even though it's a little bit outside of the of the city center. And well. Uh, the Renfe station or the Renfe train is not the only way to go to the main center. There are also buses going up and down all the time that will take you to the uh, to the main center in 20-25 minutes as well. So you're going to be well communicated and well like I said this is a two share bedroom apartment. The landlady lives in here. Her name is Mar Marisa and well um, I'm going to of course show you the only bedroom that is available. And then her bedroom, of course, I'm not gonna show. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to show it to you. All right, but let's get started. So let me come here to the entrance hall, which is right here. So this is the front door, and as you come in, well, in front of us, just in front of us, is of course the living room and the rest of the house. And to the left, we have the kitchen and the one of the exits to the terrace, because there's an, one there. Uh, but you can also exit to the terrace through the living room. All right. So let's get started here in the kitchen before I go in, uh, into the bedroom. All right. So it's fully equipped. The landlady lives in here, so of course, all the basic stuff is going to be in here in terms of you know for for the kitchen. Here's the microwave oven. Here's the fridge. Here's the uh, electric stove, the oven, even a coffee maker, the washing machine. Here's the sink, of course, and well, you can see that there are some of the, there's the silverware, some of the big spoons, and then in here we have the rest of plates, cups, another coffee maker there, and well, this is just upstairs, We, I mean, up there we have other plates and glasses as well, but of course, you know, you're going to share, let's say, half and half of these cabinets with the landlady, so they're going to be enough space for you. All right, and well, aside from that, there's also a little uh, table in here with a couple of chairs, and well, that's that's pretty much it for the kitchen. So it's very luminous, as you can see, and that's because we have uh, well the exterior right here, which is actually not the exterior. This is an interior patio, but there's nothing blocking the light, so it's almost as exterior. And so the kitchen kind of has this own terrace and then if you close this glass door it's going to be separated from the other one but of course if you keep it open you know it's going to be bigger and well I think it's better if you leave it like that all right and well then on on this terrace that's basically like a built-in closet unit for all the cleaning stuff and all that that again you know you can share with the uh, landlady if necessary all right so here's another view of the terrace Right, and well, I'm gonna step into the living room from here using the uh, this door. And well, of course, the living room is also very, very uh, bright. All the light coming in from the exterior brights up the whole place. And well, in here we have a sofa. There's another one here. There's a chair there, a coffee table, a TV. There's a shelf in there, and then well, again. The landlady has some of her stuff in one of these cabinets and shelves and all that, but if you need to store your things or if you even want to, you know, bring some decoration, either plants or whatever, the landlady is open to, you know, to let you put whatever you want to put in here as well. All right. So here's another view of the living room. Oh, very important. There's an AC unit in here. All right, is the only place where in the house where there's an AC unit, so it's nice that it's here in the living room so everybody can enjoy it. All right, so here's another view again, that's the uh, entrance hall. 
It's another view of the living room. All right, and next, well, this is the landlady's bedroom. That again, I'm not gonna show it to you. But then, this is the actual bedroom that is available. Um, so it's just a little contrasty because there's a lot of light coming in from the outside, but you should be able to see it. Yep. So. As you can see, it has a nice double bed that, by the way, it has a storage space down there. All right, you can move the mattress up and then you get all that space, you know, uh, for storage. And it also has a desk. It also has this really nice set of drawers. Uh, well, there's that shelf in there, but those books are going to be removed because the current tenant is, is still has some of his stuff in here. So of course all this will be cleared out before moving all right and well of course the window to the interior patio and then on this other side there's a huge built-in closet unit that i'm not gonna open it because again uh, there's still some uh, stuff that the current tenant left in here but as you can see it's pretty big it has a set of drawers in there of course it has rails for the hangers and it also has a space up there all right so let me move to this corner to give you another view of, of the bedroom all right and last but not least the bathroom which is right here at the end of the hall so it's of course a full bathroom here's the, the sink the shower with the tub and the toilet in there Alright, well, and there's that mirror and another one here. Alright, so that will be it, guys. Again, a two share bedroom apartment located in Villaverde Bajo, in Villaverde Alto. Like I said, 20 25 minute stops from the main center. So you're going to be well communicated, but if you want to stay in the area, it's really calm and quiet and well, many parks and very convenient. So I think it's a great deal. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.